Hey everyone, my name is Mars, like the planet, and this is Housewarming. Me and my partner have just purchased our very first home, so if you're interested in design, homemaking, and figuring it all out, make sure you subscribe. Today, we are actually going to be starting off with a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Everything, Happy Merry New Year to you and your family, even if you're celebrating alone. Merry Christmas from me to you. I hope that you're enjoying this holiday season. I absolutely love the holidays, as you can tell. I hope that you get everything that you wished for. Even if you have like one day off of work, make sure you enjoy that. So I really hope that you guys enjoy your holidays and I hope that you are enjoying the holiday season. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the extra bonus Friday videos that I've been doing in the month of December. I know that Vlogmas is very popular, but I ain't got time for to be doing Vlogmas. So I hope that the extra videos are really something that you guys enjoy but before the end of the year is over i know that we are really preparing for 2022 i know 2021 was very interesting to say the least but i know that we are setting our goals we are setting you know ourselves up for the new year so i want to share with you guys 99 things that you can clean before the end of the year i have my notes with me i have typed them all out i have printed them all out so let's just get rolling because it's a lot of things to clean <laughs> But if you ever want to come back to this video, just scroll and stop and choose one of these things off of the list that you can clean. So first, let's start with the kitchen. Number one is inside the oven. I know that we are preparing Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas dinner, and stuff like that. So after you've cooked all of those wonderful good meals, clean the inside of your oven. A lot of things get dripped to the bottom and get stuck and caked on. Number two is your backsplash. A lot of times we get grease stains and all kind of nasty little yucky stuff on your backsplash. Make sure you clean it off. Even if you have a grout pen, you can go in and clean it with your grout pen. Number three is your microwave. Same thing. All of these surfaces get really nasty with food and splatters and things like that. So clean your microwave and your microwave cover. Number four, declutter old Tupperware. This time in the holiday season, we're going over to this one's house, grandma's house, and we're getting out a lot of our favorite Tupperware. You know that video that's like, Tupperware? You know, like say the first word, tub, wrong. You know, never mind. This is legit the same Tupperware I give my five-year-old daughter for school every day. What are you saying? Say, I, say it again. Tupperware? Say it again, slow. Tupperware? Slow, very slow. Say, first, say the first syllable. Tub. Wrong. So make sure you declutter your Tupperware. If you are not using it or if it is stained, you can throw those out. Number five, clean inside your trash can. A lot of times people miss the trash can and things like that. You can just get some Clorox wipes. Get some Clorox wipes and clean the inside of that. Number seven is that junk drawer. I know that we all have that junk drawer in our kitchen with shoelaces and random bits and bottles from 1983. They sell organizers at Target, Amazon that you can organize your drawer to make it look nice. Number eight is expired food. Reach all the way in the back of your refrigerator and take out all of that expired food from 1962 and throw it away. Number nine is your spice rack. A lot of people don't know, but your spices can actually go bad. They can get come together from moisture. So even if you're not using them, you may have bought a super exotic spice for a random meal that you're never gonna use again, throw it away. Number 10, Get rid of unused servingware, get rid of broken silverware, get rid of dirty silverware and throw that away as well. Number 11, wash your oven mitts. Throw those things in the wash. Number 12, your plastic cups and coffee mug. I am so sorry to tell you this, but you do not need 37 coffee mugs. You can get rid of one girl. I promise it's going to be okay. Number 13, inside your fridge. So while we're back there cleaning out our expired food, clean the walls, clean the little cubbies, clean the shelves, clean all that out too with a nice warm soapy rag. Number four, declutter your cookbooks. I know that sometimes a lot of people don't think that cookbooks are like really helpful, but a lot of times there are people that like hoard cookbooks and I'm not, I'm not being mean, but you know who you are if you're out there. Get rid of your cookbooks that you're not using. Maybe take a screenshot of your favorite recipes and then you can donate the other, like the rest of the book. Number 15 is your toaster. Some people don't know, but there is a tray at the bottom of your toaster that you can pull out to get rid of all of the breadcrumbs. Number 16 is your sink. Once again, so many dishes and bowls and nastiness get stuck in there. Clean out your sink, girl. All right, so that does it for the kitchen. Now on to the bedroom. Number 17, declutter old sheets that don't fit your bed anymore, that you don't like anymore, old blankets that are dingy. Donate those to a homeless shelter or donate those to a thrift store. Number 18, clean the stains off of your mattress. Now, I won't say what kind of stains, but you know if you know. Clean the stains off of your mattress. They have good stain removers. It should get the stain right out. Number 19 are water bottles. Now, 
you know if you look on your nightstand right now there are 59 unused water bottles that you have yet to throw away throw them away and get rid of them it's time <laughs> Number 20, under the bed. Now I'm not talking about the monster under your bed. If you have anything under your bed that doesn't need to be there, the dust bunnies, the random shoelace, the random tennis ball that rolled under there, clean that out. Number 21, declutter inside your closet and old clothes. Now I could make an entire video, which I probably have, and it may have come out about decluttering your closet, but take this time just to go through your summer clothing. You know what you've worn, you know what you haven't worn. Take the time to get rid of clothes that you're not wearing anymore and donate them. Number 22, Fold that laundry and put it away. We can all have stuff that's piled up on that chair in the corner of our room. Fold that laundry and put it away, girl. Number 13, clean inside your bedroom. Number 13, I am all wrong with these numbers. Number 23, inside your bedside table. This is another place that can collect with all kind of random bits and bobs. Clean it out, dust it out so you can be good for 2022. Number 24, vacuum or dust off your drapes and your curtains. Now you may not realize, but your drapes have a lot of dust on them. Clean them off, wipe them off. Number 25, wash your pillows. Just because you put pillowcases on them does not mean that your, your pillows are absolved of being washed. <laughs> Number 26, dust your headboard. If you have a wooden headboard or anything like that, even if you have a fabric headboard, clean it off, make sure it's not dusty or anything like that. You don't know what kind of spiders can be lurking up there that's sleeping with you at, in, in the middle of the night. Now onto the bathroom. Number 27, and clean your faucets. We can have a lot of gunk and nastiness build up. You can use a toothbrush and really get into those like little hard to reach places. Number 28, lime on your shower head. Number 29, clean the hard water stains on your tub. You can use a magic eraser. You can use CLR to get any of those hard water stains off. Number 30, behind your toilet. Now I know it may seem like a scary place to clean behind the toilet. If you're really grossed out about it, put some gloves on and get back there and clean it. Number 31, wash your shower curtain. Now this might sound really weird, but a lot of times your shower curtain is a piece of fabric that has, you know, needs to be washed too. So make sure you take it down, take it off the rinse and put it in the washing machine. Number 32, declutter your skincare. If you have last year's moisturizer that you have yet to open, if you have that little bitty tiny bit of, you know, cream that you need to use, get rid of it because you're never going to use it. If it's unopened or unused, you can donate it to a women's shelter. Number 33, declutter your makeup. Same thing. If you're not using it, if it's halfway used, if it's broken, get rid of it and throw it away. Number 34, clean off your vanity. Number 35, Declutter unused hair products. Number 36, clean your brushes and your combs. Now, if you're someone who has hair, you know that hair built up in a brush is one of the nastiest things ever. Clean it out, soak it in some water, and just throw all that hair away. Number 38, clean your makeup brushes. Number 39, throw away empty or unused bottles. This could be shampoo bottles, conditioner bottles, anything in your bathroom that you're not, just throw it away, girl. Throw it, throw it away, throw it away. You're not gonna use it, clean it out, Get rid of it, leave it in 2021. Number 40, declutter your nail polish. If you're someone who paints your nails, be honest with yourself and get rid of it. Number 41, clean your jewelry. A lot of times your rings can get some built up gunk in them. Make sure you're decluttering out your jewelry. If you have that big old ball of jewelry that you know never you can never undo, take the time to untangle it. And number 42, clean your mirror. A lot of times when we're brushing our teeth, we can get splatters on the mirror. Just get some Windex and wipe it down. In your laundry room, number 43, clean out your dryer vents. This can almost cause a fire hazard if you're not, you know, safe about that. So clean out your laundry vents, girl. Number 44, wipe down your washer and your dryer. Number 45, organize your cleaning supplies. They sell organizers at Dollar Tree that you can use to organize your soaps, your scents, your all of those things that you throw into the wash. Organize those things. They have really satisfying videos on TikTok if you need some inspiration. Number 46, Declutter your socks in your laundry without a home. If you have that one sock that's been sitting there and you cannot find his sister or brother that goes with him, just get rid of him. He's lonely. Just find him. Just find him a little home at Goodwill. In your office, number 47, old papers. I know a lot of times we can hang on to papers, but Marie Kondo told us, get rid of it. You can take screenshots of it. You can scan it in to really get rid of that paper clutter. Number 48, your receipts. I promise you, you don't need that receipt from Burger King from 2004. You don't need an alibi. I promise. Take a screenshot of it if you really need it and then toss it in the trash. Number 49, broken pens and pencils. It's broken. 
throw it away. Number 50, organize cords for good cord management. Number 51, old notebooks. If you do have a notebook that is very sentimental to you, sometimes if it's easier to take screenshots of your favorite pages and then get rid of the, the rest. I know sometimes people like to burn notebooks just as kind of like a release. So decide what you want to do with those things because they are very sentimental and personal to you. All right, y'all, we are over the hill. Number 52, on your computer, delete those old emails. That coupon from Domino's from 2014, you can delete it. All of those spam emails from that king asking you for a million dollars, delete those emails. Number 53, on your computer desktop, organize it. I cannot stand seeing, and I'm not judging y'all, I'm so sorry. I cannot stand seeing a computer desktop that's just full of things to click. Organize and put them in folders, delete them, take the time to make your computer look nice. Number 54, clean your keyboard and your mouse and your monitor. There is so much dust that builds up on these things. You can get compressed air to get the things out of the cracks in your keyboard. Number 55, cancel your subscription. If you keep getting those pesky emails from, you know, Shein, from this website, from that website, you can go down to the bottom and find the little tiny grayed out thing that they never want you to really see that says cancel subscription. Number 56, declutter your souvenirs and your vacation items. Now I know there are a lot of Disney adults out there that love their ears and love their, you know, souvenirs from Disney. But if you are not going to, you know, really use this or cherish this, maybe think about giving it to a friend or a child or a family member that may enjoy it instead. Number 57, clean out your old photos, your scrapbooks, your yearbooks. Now I know with Instagram and stuff, a lot of us younger folk doesn't don't have a lot of, you know, actual printed out photos, but if you do go through them, you know, maybe you can scan them in, frame them, hang them up on the wall, but just having them in a big pile is not going to really benefit, you know, looking at the photos or anything like that. Number 58, set up your finances for the new year. That's the best advice I can give you for 2022. Make sure you go in it with a budget. Make sure you go in it with a plan. In your living room, number 59, delete shows that you aren't watching anymore on your DVR. That episode of Survivor, delete it. It's done, the season's over. Number 60, dust your ceiling fans. Number 61, wash your skirting boards. Number 62, clean your carpets once a year or every six months. Number 63, mop and sweep the floors. This is something that, you know, everyone normally does, but I just wanted to add it on there just to include it. Number 64, your stair rail. Number 65, dust and clean your doors and your doorknobs. Number 67, your air filters, your air filters. Number 67, your air filters and your covers. Number 68, dust your photos on your wall. The one way to make anything on your wall look better is to dust it. Number 69, clean inside and outside your windows. Number 70, clean the rust on your iron. Number 71, dust your lampshades, your lights, and your light bulb. Dust is really the enemy. If you want anything to look new again, if you're wondering why your things are looking drab, dust is probably the answer. Wipe it off. Number 72, clean the soot off of your fireplace. Now here in South Louisiana, we are not lighting up our fireplaces like that. But if you are in a colder climate, take the time to clean out and organize, you know, the firewood and stuff like that in your fireplace. Number 73, unpack any old boxes from when you've moved. If you moved 10 years ago and you still have that box in the garage that you've never opened, you probably will never open it. So just donate it to Goodwill. You don't even have to open it. Just donate it. In your dining room, Number 74, polish your silver. A lot of us don't have silver, but it is something to think about. And number 75, dust your china and your china cabinet. In your car, you didn't think we were gonna even talk about the car, but we're going to the car. Number 76, go to the car wash. A lot of times we can forget that our cars, you know, if you leave dirt on a car, it can actually take the paint off. Take the time, a lot of car washers are like five, six, seven dollars. Take the time to go to the car wash. Number 77, while you're there at the car wash, vacuum out the car. If you have kids, I can only imagine the amount of Cheerios and Fruit Loops that are on the bottom of your car. Number 78, clean out your glove box. A lot of times it's real easy for us to just throw receipts and everything, the cat, the dog, the mouse, all up in the glove box. Take the time to clean it out. Number 79, the center console. Same thing, clean it out. There's a lot of random hidden, you know, doorway to Narnia up in there. Number 80, the trunk of your car. Now, if you have a dead body buried back there or something, don't, this, don't, don't talk to me. This video is not for you. But clean out anything else that could be hiding in your trunk. 
outside in your garden in your backyard or in your front yard number 81 weed the garden now i get that it's the end of the year a lot of things are looking really dead and sad take the time to weed the garden while it's cool outside now if it's snowing where you're at don't then don't listen to this number 82 cut the grass if your grass is dead right now once again does not apply come back in the summer and then listen to this list number 83 sweep the garage we can have leaves blowing in we can have all kind of spider webs sweep it all out number 84 Organize your decorations for the holidays in the garage. Thanksgiving has just passed, so organize those decorations and set yourself up for when Christmas decorations come down. Number 85, donate items in the garage. A lot of times the garage can come our second home that just has the most random things in there from the World War II and 1934 and we just don't wanna get rid of it. Take the time to go through it and be honest with yourself. Do you really need that stuff? donate it or give it to a friend or sell it on Facebook Marketplace for some money. Number 86, clean and put away your tools. Number 87, clean out your trash cans. Once again, like we said in the kitchen, there's some, a lot of nasty stuff living at the bottom of our trash can. Just take the hose and spray it out. Number 88, kill any ant piles that are in your yard. If you have kids, if you have dogs, if you're walking around in your yard, you don't want people stepping in that. Number 89, clean your decking that may have algae or prepare your deck for the winter if it does snow where you are. Number 90, declutter your pet toys. Now, I know you love your fur baby. I know you love them. But if they're not playing with a certain toy, you know which toys are their favorite. So if they're not playing with it, either give it to a different pet or donate it or throw it away if it's super chewed up. Number 91, we're almost done, y'all. We is almost to the end. Number 91, clean pet bowls and pet beds. Number 92, trim and clean up any dead plants. Now, this can be house plants or this can be outside plants. Number 93, do the same for house plants. See, I already wrote it, I knew it was coming. Do the same for your house plants. Number 94, pressure washer, sidewalk, and your concrete. Now I know everyone doesn't have a pressure washer. This is something that you can rent from Lowe's or Home Depot, or you can hire somebody to do it. And you can probably do it like once every five years if you really wanted to. Number 95, soft wash the siding of your home. Now, once again, this is not something that everybody's able to do, but if you do have something in the budget, like I said, sell that stuff you're trying to declutter on Facebook and then use that money to soft wash your house. Come on, you're so smart. I promise you, that's a good idea. I just thought of that. Number 96, we're talking about electronics. Number 96, clean out the contacts in your phone. If you have some random person in your phone that you know you're never gonna talk to, if you have some really toxic people in your life, block them, delete their number. You don't need Domino's Pizza's number saved into your phone, delete the number. Number 97, old phones. You don't need your Razor anymore. You don't need your iPhone 2 from, you know, 2003. You can get rid of it and you can donate it if you need to, to someone less fortunate. Number 98, unfollow people who are negatively affecting you on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. You do not need that negativity in your life get rid of them unfollow them block them you can like there's an option where you can follow somebody but you can mute their story so you don't have to unfollow them if they're like your friend but you can mute people it's fine set up your instagram to look how you want it if you just want it to look like puppies that's perfectly fine and number 99 the very last thing that you need to declutter and clean for the end of the year is your mind set yourself up for a good year Set yourself up to think about all of the things that have happened this year, all the ups and the downs. Consider yourself getting in therapy if you're having mental health issues and things like that. I'm personally in therapy right now and I actually love it. I really want you guys to be set up strong and mentally for this new year. All those other 98 things, you know, they don't really matter, but you, you are so important and you are so wonderful and you matter so much and you need to make sure that you are ready for the next 365 days. So get yourself together, get your mind together, get your mind right, talk to people who you need to, really assess your life and understand what is working and what is not working for your lives. January 1st is right around the corner and I really want you guys to be set up for success. Like I said, I hope that you guys have a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. I think I have one or two more videos coming out for the end of the year, but I will see you guys in 2022. I post new videos every single Wednesday, so I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!